First of all, I would like to apologize to tonight's audience and the viewers at home. We will not be airing the Steve Ducey cooking segment tonight. <laughs> We apologize to Mr. Ducey, but you'll still be able to get his new book, Cooking with Crisco, for free. <laughs> Instead, we have a very special show tonight, so let's welcome our guest. She's still quite humorous with a fetus in her uterus. New York <laughs> Times bestselling author, Fox News contributor, Captain. She's from San Francisco, but still appreciates indoor plumbing. Co-host about numbered Emily Campagno. His deltoid can deflect. An asteroid, New York Times best-selling author, comedian, and former NWA world champion, Tyrus. <laughs> and he loves Diet Coke, but hates the woke. Choosing this insanity over Sean Hannity. Let's crank it up to 11 for President 45 and 47. The man who fights the face so viciously at six foot two, fighting out of the red corner. So, <laughs> Mr. P, how's your golf game? Well, uh, haven't been thinking about it too much lately. <laughs> it was, uh, I, I always said golf is a very dangerous game. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. <laughs> it really is. Especially if they're playing with you. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's what? Uh, that was a mean sad. joke. <laughs> pretty sad. <laughs> Did you? If they had told you that the shooter was there, would you have tried to take him out with your three wood? Uh, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I think so. If I knew. Actually, the Secret Service did a great job. They saw the barrel of a gun, big gun. Yeah. And it came out through bushes. And how many people would see that? For, you know, he really was uh, very exceptional to have done it. And uh, we've been going through a lot of it. We're getting very good at it, but I don't want to say that too loudly because we don't want to... We don't want to bring any jinxes along, Tyrus. Right? I'm with but, you. But it's... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's I mean, at a, least it's, he could have yelled four. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it, this is not a good thing to have practice at. No. Like, you're getting really good at stopping no. assassinations of Donald Trump. It's great. But I want to ask you, so Kamala Harris and the president, Joe Biden, if he's still president, we don't know. They called you after you, were getting, uh, you got shot at and to wish you well, yeah. to say all these nice things. They do. But they're the same people that moments before say you're a threat to democracy, an existential threat, worse than Hitler. Does that mean that everything they say is full of <laughs> Well, you know, both of the shooters, uh, one is dead and the other one is in prison. Uh, and it was really great work, again, by Secret Service. And a woman who saw somebody running yeah. and running for the car because he was caught and the Secret Service agent started shooting at him, didn't do any talking, said just, that's a barrel of a gun, started shooting, which was amazing, that he saw it, and then he started shooting. And so this man is running to the car, mm -hmm. and a woman is a woman, of course, woman's always a woman, right? We just found <laughs> out, yeah. No, but, but think about that. Yeah. How smart. Who would do this? Mm -hmm. uh, she sees somebody running, and she didn't like the way he looked. He looked mm -hmm. very suspicious, and followed him, and took the car, parked it right behind his, and started taking pictures of the license plate. Who would do that? A Karen. And then, and then, sent, <laughs> and then sent the picture to the sheriff, who's yeah. a great sheriff of Palm Beach County, and sent the pictures to the sheriff's office, and they got him in a high-speed chase down the highway. Yeah. But who would do that? I mean, yeah. they said out of a 1,000 incidents, would that ever happen? And they said very rarely a thing like that. So she's very much of a heroine, right? Heroine. Yeah. yeah. You know, it blows my mind, like, how you, how you take these events... So, not lightly, but it's almost casually. The way, like, I get more angry, you know, when my pant pocket gets caught on a doorknob. <laughs> I get angrier about that than you get angry about getting shot at. It doesn't... How do you, how do you process that? Well, number one, do I have a choice? Yeah. Right? <laughs> am I gonna, what am I going to do, right? Yeah. Do we have a choice. But, uh, you know, it's interesting. I was thinking a lot about it over the last period of time since uh, Butler mm -hmm. and